Hi, and welcome to another episode of... Actually, wait, we're changing the title. Same show, different title. If you want to know why I have a different title, go check out my website, samanthanera.com, or check out my Insta page. But the new title is... Sam Tries Cooking! All right, all right, all right. For those of you who don't have the time or the energy to go to my website or check out my Instagram, I'll tell you why I'm changing my name. And by name, I mean the name of this YouTube show I do like once a week. <laughs> Not my name name. You see, in the opera world, we classify voices by the Fox system. Yes, you can imagine there's a lot of bad jokes in regards to that name. But anyway, for a long time, I was classified as a dramatic soprano. And even though I'm still a dramatic singer, which means I'm one of the loudest voice types out there, I am no longer a soprano. Instead, I'm what they call a swishenfach, which means in between. Which means I can sing soprano rep. So on the one hand, I'm still a dramatic soprano, but then I also sing dramatic mezzo rep too. So it just depends on how I feel and what fits my voice best. So make sure to stay tuned for my YouTube and check out me actually singing arias and stuff in the future. I'm hoping to make record new recordings very soon. But anyway, let's get back to the show and the cooking, which is the reason why I assume you're here. And maybe to hear me sing silly things once in a while. Today, we are returning to the Avatar Cookbook. By request of Evie Family Picnic, I will be doing the Kyoshi Island Stuffed Apple Donuts recipe from the Earth Kingdom section. Hence why I decided to wear all green today. Also, it's the weekend and I just felt being comfy and cozy. If you wanna make a request for something you wanna see, make sure to leave a comment like Evie Family Picnic did. All right, let's get on with it. For the dough, you're gonna need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Sorry, that wasn't a half, that's a fourth one and a fourth cup of tapioca flour, two tablespoons of white sugar, a fourth a teaspoon of kosher salt. I know mine's not kosher. I feel like I should be doing earth bending moves as I do this. Salt. One tablespoon of yeast. Two tablespoons of margarine. One egg yolk. And that's it, let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is whisk all your dry ingredients in a bowl. A cup and a fourth of all-purpose flour. A cup and a fourth of tapioca flour. It's everywhere! <laughs> Be careful, it likes to stick to the cup. Okay, now it's like a fourth. Two tablespoons of sugar. A fourth a teaspoon of salt, or in my case, whatever feels good, and a tablespoon of yeast. I actually want to find the tablespoon for this. Oh. I guess it is just one packet. My bad. Now whisk. Now in a separate bowl, we're going to whisk together the wet ingredients. So I forgot to tell you. And the ingredients you'll need, you'll need some milk. You're gonna need approximately one third cup of warm milk. Two tablespoons of melted margarine and one egg yolk. Then whisk. Now transfer this to your flour mixture. And just of note, before we start, it says, you know, once we add that, obviously we're gonna start kneading it. And it says the kneading should take three to five minutes. I have found most times I make bread that's untrue. So I guess we'll find out. But it says, add some extra all-purpose flour if necessary to prevent dough from sticking. It should be soft, not sticky. show before you know I've made quite a few things of bread 
this is not the consistency I don't think this should be right now. I'm gonna try adding more milk to see if that will stick it together. Add some moo juice. Cause it's kind of giving me the consistency of pie crust right now. Let's see if that helps it. Ah, there we go. Now it's starting to stick. Okay. That's actually becoming something. Oh yeah. That's probably the consistency we want. It's soft, not sticky. It feels very grainy. I'm not used to my dough feeling that way. Now you're gonna cover the dough for two hours. Technically you're supposed to cover a plastic wrap, but I don't own plastic wrap. Also something of note, it does say the ideally warm area should be 85 degrees. It is winter right now in Coney, hence one of the reasons I'm in my cozy Earthbender sweatshirt because Totoro is obviously the ultimate earthbender. Sorry, Toph. I have a feeling it might take more than two hours. Was the whole reason for that little speech. While we wait for that dough to rise, let's read the cute little geeky description. Ugh. It's one of my favorite parts of geeky cookbooks. All desserts have a place at the table for Kyoshi Day. After the warriors finish early training on our special holiday, we all take the afternoon and evening off to ready ourselves for the festivals that last from dusk till dawn. I think the stars of the show are the apple donuts, so I reserve mine for the final few minutes of the sunset, just as the last of the sun rays are gleaming off the pillars of the Kyoshi Shrine. Suki, all right, let's see if it's... Now, you're gonna roll the dough out a half an inch thick onto a clean floured surface. Then use a cookie cutter of your choice. I'm gonna use butterflies today because it's almost spring and it matches my lipstick. Cut out as many as you can by re-rolling the dough and add, add them, put them on a tray with parchment paper. them with plastic for 30 minutes. I'm just going to cover them with a damp cloth and call it a day, but still do the 30 minutes. While those are rising, I know that was a really bad Sokka joke. <laughs> I'm going to make the filling. For the filling, you're going to need two gala apples, peeled, sugar, one tablespoon of water, and eventually you're going to need some matcha powder. But wait for it. Cook everything but the matcha powder in a medium pot on medium high for about five to seven minutes. Now get out your blender and puree your apple mixture with one teaspoon of your matcha powder. just a teeny bit more of water because that's not really puree. There we go. That looks more like puree. Yep. A little bit of barf. Maybe put too much water in it, but we can kind of drain that out. Now set this aside to let it cook. Preheat the oven to 375. After these have risen, and they have risen for a little more than 30 minutes, they didn't really rise by that much. Just a little bit, so hopefully it turns out okay. But you're supposed to cook them for approximately 10 minutes or until floofy and brown. They did get poofy, but they're not quite golden brown, so I'm gonna try two more minutes. There, we finally have some brown. I put it in for five minutes, not two. After your donuts have cooled, you're gonna do this. Transfer your apple matcha mixture into a piping bag, or in my case, a plastic bag. 
Then I'm gonna put a hole in and add this to and hope it works. It looks like makeshift applesauce, the ones that come in those like plastic packages. Once your donuts have cooled, you're gonna pierce them halfway through with a paring knife. I'm not quite sure what that is, so I'm just gonna use a knife. And then, once you've done that, you're gonna stick <laughs> your pipey mag in there and squeeze some of this apple juice into it. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. This could go horribly, but Oh my gosh, I did it. I'm like so proud of myself. I don't know if you could see, but you could see it. There's a little bit in there. I don't know how well it worked, but I did it. This feels like really horrible. I'm like stabbing butterflies. <sighs> Although I suppose in the avatar world, like a butterfly would be really rare because all the animals are like half something else. It'd be like the bear from Bossing Say. A butterfly, what's a butterfly? I'm trying to think if there is like a butterfly creature in the Avatar series that I've seen so far. Probably be like a butter, a butter bee. <laughs> that would be cute. I would totally love to see a butter bee. Give me an idea of what you think a butterfly animal would be in the Avatar world in the comments. I'd love to hear. Ah! Time for filling. There is no more bossing say. Yeah, I think an apple chunk got stuck. <sighs> oh well, this is why it's called Sam Tries now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this tastes good though. If you've seen my piping skills before in the Unicorn Meringue episode, you know I have little to none. And that time I actually used a real piping bag. Ugh. I got it all over my shirt. <laughs> and now I've just made a huge mess. I think I'm gonna just try spooning them in. Will this flow well? Probably not, but <laughs> this isn't going well either, as you can see. There's a lot of this apple stuff left in here. So I might just serve it on the side. I've tried my best. All right, now to make the frosting. After I wiped myself off, oh my God. That explosion really went everywhere. For the icing, you're gonna need two tablespoons of margarine, a fourth a cup of honey, a cup of powdered sugar, and then a teaspoon of your matcha powder. Time to get a pot and warm these two things up. So you know, you are supposed to whisk it together. For some reason, I can't find my little hand whisk, so I'm just doing the best I can. I might transfer it to a different bowl and use a fork since it is heated up now. You're supposed to dip your donuts in. You definitely should whisk it more than I have or else you're gonna get those little chunks of powdered sugar, but that's okay. As long as it tastes good in the end, that's all that matters, right? They're just diseased butterflies, it's okay. And just so you know, the recipe does warn about this, that this stuff like cools down pretty fast and then it gets hard, so you may have to reheat it up in the process of doing it. I didn't have to do that, but if I had more donuts, cause this definitely made more than what I needed. But if I had more donuts, I definitely need to stick it in the microwave for a second or something. Then you just need to wait for them to harden and then they're ready to serve. Another quick PSA, this recipe will leave your kitchen a mess. I found my whisk. It was in the dishwasher. Cause I'm unloading the dishwasher like a responsible adult while I wait for my frosting to harden. All right, I know mine is not much to look at, but I tried my best, okay? I tried my best. And that's why it's called Sam Tries Cooking. All right, hopefully it tastes better than it looks. The dough's nice, frosting's nice. I don't taste any filling yet though. Which I'm not surprised by because, let's face it, my 
piping skills are none. All right, let's try to get a bite of filling. Mm. I got some filling in, but as you can see, it did not go, it got only into a fourth of the donut. But where there is filling, it's very good. It's nice. I like it a lot. If you don't like matcha though, this probably isn't the recipe for you, but I love matcha, so I like it. It is good. I think if I were to make this again, since I'm so horrible at piping, I'd probably just cut the donut in half and like make the filling like a sandwich. That may be what I do with the rest, honestly. Look at that fluffy texture. You've watched British Bake Off, I think. Paul Hollywood would be would be proud of me. I'm proud of me. That's all that matters. Okay, so what to rate it? This time, just like last time, there was a little discrepancy with the recipe again. I had to add more milk than what was said there. It called for one third cup of milk. I would say you would need a half to three fourths cup. Add it gradually like you would with pie crust is what I was finding personally. Let me know if you have this cookbook and have tried this and have found something different. But like I mentioned in my last Avatar cookbook episode, there seems to be a lot of problems with the directions, especially when it comes to quantities for the ingredients. Because of that, with that in mind, and I'm not gonna, you know, my horrible piping skills should not affect the judging of this episode because the filling does taste delicious. Again though, read a cursor if you like matcha. If you don't like matcha, you are not gonna like this recipe at all, but I do. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. And the only reason it's not getting a 10 out of 10 is because again, the directions were just a teeny bit off. Right, Knuckles? He's like, oh. Hey baby, come sit with me. Yeah. Say hi, Knuckles. He wants a Kiyoshi donut, but he can't have one. They're not meant for kitties. I'm sorry, but maybe next time. Say hello. If there's more you wanna see from this cookbook, make sure to go to my cabbage cookie recipe video, because in that I have a still frame of all the recipes. And then feel free to leave a comment on that video and I will make sure to try it out. Or if you don't wanna see something from the Avatar cookbook, look at my description below and you'll find a list of all my geeky cookbooks and you can request whatever you want. Also once a month, I do do a Twitter poll. So go follow me on Twitter at Dramatically Spishin. It's my new handle for Insta and Twitter. And you can participate in that or leave a comment, either or. Well, I hope you had fun. I know I sure did. Happy cooking, and I'll see you next time.